Do not panic. Please stay where you are. My forensic team is scanning for leaked biological agents. We would evacuate if required. Please stay where you are. We've uh, un uncovered a plot by some cyber terrorists who uh, would think have got a chemical agent in the air conditioning system and they're going to release that chemical agent which is presumably going to kill lots of people. We have 42 contestants in the room who've been selected through the year. There's sort of thousands of people start the year and gradually get boiled down to a smaller number and today is the finals, we call it our masterclass finals. Um, and all these people are aspiring cybersecurity professionals um, at the beginning of their careers um, and they are doing some uh, really very uh, realistic simulated exercises on a, um, an attack here in London. Uh, we're told a bit of uh, background information about what was going on um, and then we've basically been given laptops and a network and we've had to find out what services are running on the machines on that network. Um, basically figure out how to get into the system ourselves. We, we haven't got very many privileges on the system, so we have to kind of hack into it. Each year we try and make it more challenging, more realistic, always within a safe environment. But the people with these skills or, or have aspirational skills and want to do more, uh, it's best for them to practice and exercise those skills in, a, in an environment that's as close to reality as possible. You sort of don't want your cyber defenders first experience of something ghastly going on in a real life scenario, you want them to have practiced before. We've introduced um, an interesting twist this year which is sort of real life whereby there's also a red team exercise going on. That means that as well as the guys having to do what they do, over in the corner we've got somebody trying to disrupt them and the penny drops on them sometimes that they themselves are being um, hacked, if you like, and some of the progress they've made has, has been reversed. Well, we, by running this competition, we hope that the people who win this competition are the sort of people that we can put almost immediately into the industry environment. Clearly, they're not entirely trained. They, they will be an ongoing education process for them, but they have demonstrated they have the right skill levels and the right capacity for problem solving, which is required for, for this industry. Thank <laughs> you.